Hello everyone and today I'm gonna teach you enter process communication in C or in C++ by using file mappings. So over here we have two files file mapping A and file mapping B. For now they are just the same over here and here they are the same. So first thing we have included is windows.h and then we have our stream and then we have conio.h. Now over here we have also defined buff size as 256 and we using namespace std in our main method we don't have anything just a get ch and same in file mapping b dot cpp so let's get started so in our main method we'll create handle for our file mapping object so handle H map file and we'll create a buffer so lp cd sgr p buff now we'll initialize our handle which is h map file and we'll set it equal to create file mapping and in the first parameter we'll pass in invalid handle value and second parameter will pass in null and third parameter will be page read write fourth will be zero and fifth will be buff underscore size which we have defined as 256 and after that we'll pass in name for the file mapping so we can use this name to access the file mapping from other program you can type in text and pair parenthesis and then that will pass in string and you can pass in any name will pass in my file mapping and then we'll just give a semicolon after that we'll check for error so if hmap file equals null We'll see our field and we'll end line. Then we'll return one. Then after that, we'll initialize our pbuff. pbuff equals, we'll give an explicit to lpctsgr and we'll type map view of file and then we'll pass in hmap file. After that, we'll pass in file underscore map underscore all access for now this will give read write access and delete access to the file view so for now we will be using this but you can change it to other values specified in microsoft's documentation after that we'll pass in zero and zero then the buff size and this function returns a void pointer which you can pass to any type and write any data inside it as long as it doesn't exceeds the size of it so after that we'll see if we successfully created view of the file so pbuff equal equals null then we'll see our field we can just copy it from here and we'll close the handle so close handle and we'll pass in h map file and then we'll return one after that we'll write something on the buffer we have which will be shared with other programs as well so we can do copy memory in that we'll explicit pbuff to pvoid and then we'll pass in string which has our data in it for now i'm just gonna pass in high and the size of it which is four now once i do that i'm gonna call get ch and after that i'm gonna unmap view of file and in that we'll pass in pbuff and we'll close the handle as well h map file so now we can just compile this and see if there are any errors and as you can see there are none so we'll write second program which is file mapping b which is gonna be similar to this so you can just copy it and make the changes or you can type with me so handle hmap file then lpctsr pbuff after that we'll initialize the handle so hmap file equals so this time we'll use open file mapping and in that we'll pass in our desired access you can check out microsoft's documentation for other values as well for now we are just gonna use file underscore map underscore all underscore access after that will not inherit the handle so false then 
this parameter will be the name of the file which we want to open so we can just go to our previous program and we can copy this so that we don't have a different name if we have a different name it will fail to open it so once you do that we can check if we successfully open the file or else we'll say fail so if hmap file equals null then we'll see out failed and we'll do end line and we'll return one after that we'll initialize our debug so debug equals lpctstr in explicit and after that map view of file and that will pass in handle hmap file then our desired axis which is map all axis so we'll just copy it from there and paste it and after that we'll pass in 0 0 and the maximum size which is defined as buff size so buf underscore size after that again we'll check if we successfully created view of file so we can just copy it from over here and paste it after that we'll read the debug so for that we can just create a message box and we can display the buffer as the message so message box and first parameter will be null then next parameter will be pbuff and next will be the caption which is gonna be hum and after that we'll pass in flags so the flag which i'm gonna use is mb underscore ok and after that we'll unmap view of file we'll pass in pbuff and we'll close the handle hmap file so now we can compile this to check if there are any errors and there are none so we'll first run this file and then we'll run this file so i'm gonna open the location where they are saved and you can see they are saved over here file mapping a.exe and file mapping b.exe i'm using this so that both the windows appear on top and get recorded as well so i'm gonna double click this and move it over here and i'm gonna double click this one and you can see that created this message box which is owned by this window so if i close this right now the message box will also disappear and now we can just press the get ch over here and that will also so this was how you can use file mappings to communicate between processes and programs on a local machine and if you like the video then make sure that you hit that like button and consider subscribing for more videos like this and bye bye